Hi, it's Justin Brook, the traffic strategist that's trying to teach you how to become a traffic strategist so you can make your traffic profitable. Today, we're talking about high performance landing pages, which is the second piece of the puzzle. And before we get started, I got an interesting email about yesterday's video. I mean, among all the positive feedback in the comments and emails, we got one that kind of stuck out. And I thought it was important to share with you because it was a testimonial combined with a rude comment. I'd never really gotten one of those before. He said, loved your traffic sources, but you were a fool to give those away. I would have paid for them. I politely wrote him back and told him thank you for his kind words and went about my day. And I'm very pleased to hear how happy everyone was with those traffic sources. But I hope no one printed them out because they're not even worth the ink on the paper. For example, one of the traffic methods was SEO. Yet there are thousands of people with number one rankings in Google and not making any sales at all. Another method was PPC. Yet some people start up a PPC campaign and lose money instead of make money. Warning, there are three big truths ahead. The first one is, let's be really, really honest. You probably knew some of those 21 traffic sources already. SEO, PPC, podcasting, press releases, social media, Facebook, banner advertising... Unless you are brand new to internet marketing, you probably know a few things about traffic. But if you already know where to get traffic, why aren't you swimming in money yet? If there's dozens of traffic courses already out there, why is it still the number one problem? Your problem is not the ability to get traffic to your site. Anyone can sign up and pay for some banners or Facebook ads. Anyone can write some articles and post some links on Twitter. Getting profitable traffic is your real problem. The reason you don't have unlimited profitable traffic is because you've been trying to put a puzzle together one piece at a time and with no picture to follow. Your puzzle pieces are all jumbled and you're trying to force them to connect. Today I'm going to show you the second piece of the puzzle. By the end of this video, you will see what has been holding you back. And when the video is finished, you'll believe you can finally put the puzzle together. I want to introduce you to a little mini course we're going to go through today called The Truth About Landing Pages. Before we even look at landing page examples, we have to address some of the common misconceptions with landing pages. Number one being traffic is not prejudice, and the second being all traffic is not equal. Let me explain. When I say traffic is not prejudice, I mean that it doesn't change its actions based on the market or the business model. I hear a lot of people asking questions like, does this work in non-IM niches? Or will this work for affiliate marketing? Or do I have to have a product? Here, let me show you some real-world examples that prove traffic is not prejudice. All right, we're out in the wild now. And anything can happen. What I want to show you guys is three different business models in different markets and show you that traffic does not discriminate. I mean, a click is a click is a click. It doesn't do anything different. What changes is the landing page. So traffic is not prejudice. And I want to show you that through a dramatic demonstration that proves that. So here we're looking at an affiliate review page in the IM market, internet marketing market, that a lot of people think is so different. So if we look at this page, we have a video, you know, so you can learn more about the product that he's trying to sell information about the product he's trying to sell, lots of video, lots of screenshots, and then you click a link, and then you may or may not buy. Now let me show you the same thing in a different business model. All right, now here is a somebody who has their own product, not an affiliate. This person is selling their own product. We have a video that teaches you more about the product, text on the page that teaches you more about the product, lots of pictures and proof and whatnot, and there's a link that you can click and then you may or may not buy once you click that link. All right, so two different business models is in the same process. Now let's go to another business model. Here's the e-commerce model of selling physical products. All right, we have pictures about the product, we have a video about the product, we have text on the page that helps you learn more information about the product, and then we have a link that we can click to buy the product or not buy the product. Three different business models, and the process is always the same. What changes is the landing pages that we go to. Now I'm going to show you the exact same thing in non-internet marketing uh, markets. Actually, this one was the non-internet marketing market. So... All right, now we have an affiliate 
This is an affiliate marketer. Same thing here. We have text on the page and pictures on the page that would help you learn more about the product that he's trying to sell. A link that you can click and then to go on and buy the product or not buy the product. And then if we look at somebody who's selling their own product, again, uh, we have a video, we have pictures about the product, we have text on the page to help sell the product, and then we can click this link to either go buy the product or not buy the product. And then again, in the e-commerce market, you have text on the page that helps you learn more about the product, images about the product, and then if we scroll down, here is a link that we can click to buy the product. So it's always the same. Traffic doesn't change. I mean, a click cannot change its behavior. What changes is the things you do to your landing pages, and that is what helps you turn traffic profitable or not turn traffic profitable if you do the wrong things. If you do the right things, then you can make that traffic profitable. So that's what we're talking about here. That's why puzzle piece number two, landing pages, is so important because that is what takes your traffic and helps you make it profitable. Let's keep talking. As you've just seen, traffic is just clicks. It's moving people from one area of the internet to another. It's the pages that they land on and the elements on that page that make the traffic profitable or not profitable. I told you there were two common misconceptions. The second problem everyone has is they treat all sources of traffic like they were the same thing. You might be thinking, what the heck? I thought you just said traffic is not prejudiced and doesn't change. A click is a click is a click. It doesn't care if you are an affiliate or a store owner or an ebook seller or whatever it is that you do. However, a click sent from Google is different from a click set from Facebook. It still doesn't care whether you are an affiliate, store owner, or selling digital products, but the landing pages you use for AdWords won't work for CPV, and the pages you use for CPV won't work for SEO. The reason people struggle is they make one sales page or one squeeze page, or maybe it's just their home page of their site, and think it will work for all traffic methods. You'd be hard pressed to get Facebook or AdWords to let you use a squeeze page. You'd have an uphill battle posting links to a sales letter on social sharing sites or press releases. That's why you create landing pages, to bridge the type of traffic to your main sales funnel. There is a landing page type that works great for AdWords, another for CPV, another for social sharing, etc., etc. Now I'm going to show you a few examples of good landing pages. What I'm going to show you right now are real life landing pages that are really working right now. And the one that you're looking at right now is for Rich Sheffrin's webinar. And this is what we would call a CPA style landing page. It has a lot of flashy, high contrast graphics, a lot of social proof. It has a fair amount of copy on there, some more social proof down at the bottom. And then it's got uh, the animated sketch video okay so that's this would be horrible for SEO or possibly even social media because it's a very high sales kind of uh, page and you know might not even be good for Google AdWords but for other types of paid media this thing works like gangbusters and then let's take you to another one here that, uh, and they all don't have to be so fancy. Like, take a look at this one. This is one of the most basic pages I think you could possibly create. It's basically a, head, a headline and an opt-in box. And this is something that definitely wouldn't work on Google AdWords, definitely wouldn't work on SEO or social media. It might work on social media, actually. But this one is mainly used for... You know, high traffic things. We use this for CPV, solo ads, ad swaps, and stuff like that. Things where I really want to build my email list really quickly. And because of the simplicity of this page, there's very little on there to be judged. Therefore, it has a high opt-in rate because there's like a 50-50. You either like this or you don't, and that's why we get a higher opt-in rate on this. So you know, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a very fancy page. It just has to be the right type of page for the right type of traffic. Now, here's another page. This is something that would be good for search engine optimization and social media and, you know, any of those other kinds of traffic methods where they want you to be a little bit more politically correct, a little bit more engaging, use more content. 
So this page, it looks like a blog, uh, looks like a blog post, and it reads like a blog post. And as you go through, you keep absorbing this content, and it leads with a lot of great content first, getting the person to know you, like you, trust your advice. And as you keep going through, now all of a sudden you get to the page where it says, whoops, you must be a subscriber to access the rest of this article. And this this actual page here has an 85% opt-in rate because the person has gone through one page and another page and they're really excited to get to the next part. And then when they go through this, they're actually getting right into my sales environment where they're going to be on my sales page, my sales video, my webinar, whatever I have behind this page at that given time. So those are three different examples of different landing pages that are really working right now and how you might kind of use them in, with different types of traffic. You can clearly see now that there are certain types or styles of landing pages out there that can help you make your traffic more profitable. When you know which type of landing page works best with which traffic source, it becomes easy to make traffic profit. Because now you're not trying to force two puzzle pieces together that don't fit. But I must warn you, there is good news and bad news ahead. The bad news is that even when using the right traffic source with the right landing page, you can still create losers. For example, just because you are using that super squeeze style landing page, which I said works great with CPV and solo ads, doesn't guarantee that you'll always be profitable. The good news is that there is a third piece of the puzzle that virtually guarantees profitability when you use the other two puzzle pieces with it. Now let me use a disclaimer here. By virtually guarantees, I am assuming you have done some preliminary research and making sure you are selling something that the market wants to buy. In the next video, I will talk about the third and final piece of the puzzle. Today, I showed you that traffic is not prejudiced and it doesn't matter what you are selling or what market you are in. Clicks are just clicks and it's your landing pages that must change. That each type of traffic has a type of landing page that works best. It doesn't matter if you are an affiliate, e-commerce seller, or if you sell products on ClickBank. Once you know which traffic source goes with which landing page source and the third piece of the puzzle, you can virtually guarantee yourself more profitable traffic sources than if you didn't know any of the combinations. Stay tuned for the next video if you want to learn how to put it all together. Before I go, I want to continue talking about landing pages with you in the comments below. If you have any questions about landing pages, let me know. And if you found this helpful, do your good deed for the day by clicking the share button so someone else can get their traffic fixed too. All right, I'll see you soon. Watch your email closely for the third video in the series. I'm Justin Brooke, the Traffic Strategist.